Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I got a wearable this time. Let's have a look. Well, you know when you have like projects, um, you got ideas for projects, but you have like little roadblocks in there. Um, with this one, I was kind of wanted to make a wearable, but I really didn't know how to make the strap. Uh, how to do the strap? I've seen other few projects do other bits and pieces and make custom straps, or but for surely there's got to be an easy way. Um, and then I stumbled across these uh, NATO, I think they're called NATO straps, on uh, AliExpress one day. Um, I'll take this one off to show you how it works. But it basically allows you um, to thread the strap through um, the, the watch. And I thought, hang on a minute, I could use that. You look here, see so it goes under the PCB around here. So I thought, I know what I could do. I could have a PCB with two slots in it. Thread it through, it would also give you a bit of insulation on the back, and it would give you a wearable, which was great. Uh, so I got one, bought one, and did some measurements. Um, I used cutouts um, from Oshpark on my other project, the uh, Fan Hat, if you'd seen that one. Um, so we're kind of a rough idea of how um, you know, tolerances and stuff, but um, yeah, this one turned out quite well. Um, but what this is more going to be as like a platform to make other wearables. Um, so whilst I was doing this, I thought I'd make a basic one, because sometimes when you need mechanical um, design in your PCBs, you need to get a prototype made, and then you'll fix all the problems in the real one. So I was going to do this one, which is a basic one, like you see with the LEDs. Um, and then I was going to do another one, which was going to be a TV Begon with um, an Atmega, uh, sorry, an AT Tiny 85. That didn't work out, so I thought I'd do this one anyway, just to just to flesh out the design. It's come out quite well. It's got um, these, um, I've not used these before, but they're like a CRT uh, little coin cell um, holders, which are quite cool. Good luck. I'll un, uh, take this out, but you can because that's where it had to be insulated. Because that's uh, I wanted to have the battery on the back. Um, I used a through hole, could have used a, a SMD, um, I like, uh, AT Tiny, but um, yeah, it worked out quite well in the end. And um, there's a few other problems as well I come across well, not problems, but things I had to sort out, which was when I'd um, had the uh, chip on the uh, breadboard I'd made this uh, in the video I'd made this uh, hat to go over it or like a, a backpack I'm calling them just to clip over it and then you clip your programmer in but with this being on the board you could have you know sometimes people have break out the the uh, you know for reprogram and break out headers and then they'll use pogo pins but I thought oh, it takes up more space and you know you are a very space constraint on this um, so I went and made this which has pogo pins um, but they sit on the shoulder of the chip. See the chip, it's got like a little shoulders. This will, I think it goes this way, um, no, this way. It goes, sits on it. It's got two um, male uh, uh, headers there to line it up either side so it can't move left and right. Um, and then you just use a peg to clip it on. And then you can program it from your programmer. So that kind of solves that problem. So you don't need any other, any other space on the board. You've got literally the chip. Um, you could use the chip clips um, or the SMD ones. I haven't got one here, but they just like clip either side of it. Uh, but you can't get them for these, so I had to make this one. But if you use the SMD one, you could use the chip clip, and then it's the same thing, really. Um, but yeah, as usual, um, you know, link in the description below for GitHub and um, everything else. My blog post, a bit more explaining the, uh, a bit more explained there. But yeah, thanks for watching and. Uh, Hopefully this uh, will give you a bit of inspiration to make something yourself. Thanks. Bye.